All right, everyone, welcome to our group training. There are three leaders on the page or on the training. Ooh, I am Megan Martin. Gallery. Do gallery. Those. I don't know what's happening. I don't know either. Keep talking. Okay. Well, there are three of us that are combining our groups to do a group training. Um, so I am Megan Murphy. I live in North Carolina and I am a director. I'm Savannah Moore. I am currently in Mooresville, but relocating back to Greenville, North Carolina area. Um, and I am a director. Cassie. Oh, she's like frozen. <laughs> That's Cassie, Cassie Fender. <laughs> Cassie Fender looks frozen. I'm not sure what's going on with her, but she is also in North Carolina in Winston-Salem and she's Super a star. Star consultant. She'll hop back on, hopefully. Hopefully. She's moving a little bit. Cassie, turn your Wi-Fi off or something. She can't. She's on a computer. Oh, oh. The phone wasn't working. Okay. Do you want me to go ahead and start? Cassie and I live in Winston-Salem. And I am a superstar consultant. I'm frozen. Yep. Wait. Oh, Alex. Computers. I need your computer. <laughs> She's annoyed now. So we're, we just okay. want to start uh, with a clarification that some of you, this may be advanced, too advanced for you. We're going to start with the basics. And for some of you, it may be too basic. But we're starting with the basics and moving on up. So this is all about PRV and just kind of the beginnings. Yep. Um, OK, so I'm going to start. Um, I'm going to flip my screen. Um, we're going to talk about the news tab because some people don't know where to find like when new things release, um, limited time offer products. Um, let's see. Also like when things are out of stock, we can easily find where things, when they're coming back in. So let me flip my screen. We're just going to do like a quick tour of the workstation. All right, so this is your homepage when you log in. Here's all your numbers. Um, so you can look at your paid at title, what you're currently at. Then if you are looking to earn a promotion, which we should all be striving for, you would click here to kind of see where you're at. Um, we are going to, we can start with the news tab. So if you can see right down here is the news tab. And on here at the top, the very first thing that always pops up is the product status list. So this is gonna tell you when things come back in stock. Okay, so these things, they come in stock, they come in tomorrow um, or no, two days from now, today's the 15th. And then here, so you've got some other things that we don't know the date yet. Here's things that are back ordered. It tells you the dates for everything, okay? So this is like always being updated. Um, and then we can go, ooh, ooh, embarrassing. Oh gosh, sorry guys. All right, then the next tab we're gonna look at is, wowzers, is the orders tab. So on your orders tab, which hopefully everyone has had a party, has opened a party link before, um, but if you have not, here would be where you see all your parties. Um, one tip that we give everybody is you need to have your own party link open at all times. So you may have people that are shopping with certain customers you have that have parties open. But if you just have someone that's ordering something random, one of your customers, you want to have a link open for them to order under. Why? Because in here is where 
you, when you hit 200, when you hit 500, you get free and half off items. So then you can get your scent circles that you send in happy mail for free or half off. Um, you can get new warmers yourself. I just ordered new warmers half off this month um, on here. And anyway, so you always want to keep this open. So as soon as you close a party of your own, open it back up. Um, and then we also like to keep the label, the like name simple. So I used to like name it fun stuff. Like February, I'd put like, it's love month. They're like something crazy potentially. And people would not order under it. So I made it very simple so that when someone goes on my website and it says, would you like to link it to a party? They can see it says February orders and my name and they would be more likely to click it. Um, so it's fun to make up fun things, but sometimes people don't actually shop it. Um, the new part is where you would create a party. I won't click on that, but you make a name, pick your host, and then pick an end date, blah, blah, blah. Individual order, you can now place an individual order. Um, let's see. I'm just going to pick one of my party people right now. So then you can actually now, this is a newer feature, you can attach these to a party. Okay, so if you have someone who just is randomly ordering from you, you could like order it under your party, whatever, okay? And then order it and ship it straight to them. Lastly, under the orders tab is the history. So on here, you can see over here. So you can see when things are shipped and when they're not. So it goes from posted. So posted is the first thing. So I don't, I don't have one that's posted. Um, but as soon as an order is placed, it usually says posted here. So that's first, then printed. So like, I think of it as the receipt is printed to be filled. And then you have shipped. Um, so that's the big things with this. This is where I go to do my happy mail or to look back to see what other people have ordered in the past. Um, okay, actually the very last thing is scent of the month, scent and warmer of the month. So this is where you can subscribe, upgrade, downgrade, or unsubscribe to the warmer of the month. So right now I have scent and warmer of the month because not many people like the spring gnome that is next month's warmer but I'm gonna get it because I feel like if I take pictures of it or have it myself people will like it so we will see um, but you can upgrade downgrade here and the reason we like to do this we I, I tell my team the minimum you should do is scent of the month that way you get bars of wax that you can make samples out of you can also, re you can just sell those bars. You have them on hand. You can sell them if you want. Um, I highly recommend making samples. You also get 50 brochures um, with a scent and warmer of the month picture. You get scratch and sniff stickers. And do we still get the tester, Megan? I don't think, yeah, I don't think we get the tester anymore. But you get the brochure and the wax to make samples to send out to your customers. You can add it to thank you mail. Um, it's $30 for cent of the month. I always recommend doing cent of the month. If you like the warmer, upgrade to warmer of the month. Um, Amy, what, ooh, how do I see that? Megan, can you answer that? I can't see it in the phone view. Hold on. Yes, Amy just asked if we could go over perpetual party reward and asked what we can, yes. do, what we all do with our warmers because she doesn't think she'll keep February's, but she doesn't know what to do with them. Okay. Um, do you want to answer that, Megan? I mean, if I don't love a warmer, I would try to sell it. If not, you could hang on to it. You could use it. Um, like the mini, you got both. So you could throw the mini in a bag party, like a local bag party. You could keep the bigger warmer for um, home parties. I know you do a bunch of home parties, Amy, um, just to display. And even though they may, it may not 
always be there. You could be like, hey, this was a warmer of the month. It was a special, like this is, you know, each month since it comes out with a new warmer, that's a perk. You could also turn it into perks of being a consultant. You got it a whole month early um, to share and have. That's my take on that. What do you think, Megan? No, I totally agree um, to all of those. Oh, and yes, you, if yeah. you can always resell it. I mean, especially to a local customer um, because you'll have it on hand early and just take pictures of it, advertise, and then you'll be able to hopefully resell it to somebody. That, I was going to say the same thing. And I also have had two in the past that I ended up just giving um, to, they weren't, I don't remember what they were, but to um, a party host. I was like, thank you. It was like an incentive. Like if somebody will book a party with me next month, I have a bonus prize and it ended up being a warmer of the month that I didn't want anymore or didn't, hadn't used. You can always re-gift them too and no one needs to know that you bought it from your business. Exactly. And right. Ginger, um, it totally may be 35 now or with tax. I think it's so. like 41 or 42 once you get tax and shipping. Yeah. Yeah. I can look because I just got charged today. Me too. I just got mine too. It processes on the 15th of the month, every month. Yep. Um, so today, but you can still, if you decide that you want to sign up, you can still do it and get it shipped to you before March. Until the 28th, you can like if you do it by the 28th of the month prior, you get the next month's. Awesome. Sorry about my mishap earlier, but they feel different. Oh, my computer is ratchet. So my husband brought me his. But I am from Winston Salem and I'm a superstar consultant and I'm glad to be here. So I'll talk. PRV is what our whole topic is tonight. So um, the basis of PRV is how you make your money on um, when you're selling Cincy. So PRV is what you're getting paid off of. Um, you should have PRV goals every month. So I know that Megan and Savannah and me all strive for $2,000 PR or 2000 PRV I always convert it to dollars, but it's not necessarily one for one, especially with Disney collection and um, licensed products, but 2000 PRV, because once you hit 2000 PRV, you get an additional 5% on your paycheck. And that is $600 paycheck right there because 30% of 2000 is 600. So if you want that guaranteed $600, you need to be striving for 2000 PRV. Um, but if that seems like, well, way too much, trust me, you can do it, but set smaller goals. So by the fifth of the month, I want to be active. I want $200 PRV by day five. You get that secured. Okay. By day 15, I want $500 PRV. Because if you're getting $500 or five, whatever, 500 PRV, I keep saying dollars, but if you get 500 PRV, then you're ready to have somebody under you. You're ready to take on that leadership role because to be able to get paid as a leader, you have to have 500 PRV. So you want to strive for that. If you're wanting to think about having people under you. So that's goals, mini goals. We're always talking about setting goals, but mini goals are how you get these bigger goals accomplished. So 200 by the fifth, 500 by the 15th. And then I'm going to challenge you to have 2000 by the end of the month. If that's too much, shoot for a thousand and the next month shoot for 2000, but there's no reason that you can't have these small goals. So if you're in for that, write in a chat box that you're going to shoot for those goals because we are not doing so hot <laughs> in February. So we got to step it up for March for sure. Um, let me look back at my notes, but I think that's uh, basically what we're saying is if you're not hitting these goals and you're you're just leaving that money on the table because if you have a larger even if you have a small customer base every month you're trying to earn new customers how can you get new customers parties you got to have parties um you need to have at least a party a week that's four parties if you want to do more you can do two parties a week so you're getting eight parties but if you're getting four parties a month that's prb four parties each party's five hundred dollars that's two thousand right there so there you are meeting those goals. Okay. Um, and that's money. You don't want to leave that money. Like I like money in my pocket. So you should too. Right. I mean, you didn't join, you joined Scentsy because a, you like sense and B you like money and you like make making money off of your addiction or at least that's what I joined. Um, so that's our goal. That's all of our goals. And we want that to be your goal. 
Um, and we're going to talk about how you can get to 2000. So we all have some different things to talk about, but if you have questions about that, let us know. Go, sh is it Sherry? You hit a thousand today. Whoop, whoop. She is officially now certified as of today as well. Oh, that was uh, we're going to talk. I, I meant to say, and you want to hit that first thousand uh, to begin with, because right there is 5%. When you start as yep. a Cincy consultant, you're only making 20%. After that first thousand, you're making 25% for every PRV dollar or whatever after that. So you yeah. want to get that goal. Whoop, whoop, go girl. Okay. Megan, do like Savannah. No, Megan, go first with Facebook parties. Oh, okay. Can One thing I did want to say first was closing parties. Also going back to Savannah on the workstation, make oh, yeah. sure when you're closing parties that you use your host rewards, you're free and half off. It'll charge you $5 and it'll give you a little like warning, like warning you to not use your stuff. We're going to charge you $5. Make sure you're using everything. And if you're closing one of your own parties, the perpetual party reward is an additional half off. I use it for if a, a customer's party, say that, that we got another booking, that's when they get the perpetual party reward. I don't, I used to just give it out. I don't just give it out anymore. So perpetual party reward is going to be on the one tab and then the host credit and then the other half offs. So just make sure you are using all of those wisely when you close your parties I'm so gonna work. Gonna no yeah um let me spotlight you i have one girl who has a 200 dollars party so all right so you have the regular host right here so she's got 20 credits or 20 dollars free credit here she's got her one half off but, and now I don't offer the perpetual reward for all of my hostesses. Um, if they hit 500, I use this to give them a like washer with or fragrance flower for free, or I get it half off and give it to them for free. You can do what you want. Um, but if they get someone, one of their friends to host a party, I then give them another half off. So that's what I would use that for. But if this was my own party, my February orders party, 100% always use this. Um, if I want a bunch of warmers, I will add one of them here to get it half off. But I usually honestly get six cent circles half off here. Um, my scent circles go on my happy mail. So you can use it for whatever you want. If you want to give all of your hosts their second half, you know, if they hit 200, you want to give them another half off for the heck of it. They pay for it. That's fine. Um, you can use it with what you want, but I use it for my hostesses when they hit 500. Like if it's a fragrance flower, I pay $8 out of pocket to give them. I mean, they just got me a ton of new customers and PRV. So use it with what you want, but if it's your parties, definitely always close it or use it. Okay. Okay. Let me get back. Okay, so we're gonna talk about different types of parties now. So I'm going to start with Facebook parties. That's kind of how I started just because I started in the middle, the very beginning of COVID actually. Um, the most important part of any type of party is hostess coaching, which we'll talk about here in a little bit. But Facebook party, you make a group. I always make a group and make it private. You have to make sure you're in compliance part of really big part of compliance is making sure that any special offers, anything that you may be doing giveaways. So if you're going to play a game and do a giveaway, that's can only be done privately. So it needs to be done in a private group. Don't do a business page. Don't do a page. Don't do a, a public group. Everything needs to be private and everybody has to be invited in. Um, you don't want to be out of compliance because you never know when you can get reported by somebody random. There's random people out there. Um, there is an online Facebook group called Mock Online Party. I know my team has been invited to it, but I'll make sure I post the link in our combined group. Um, yes. Whitney Hebel, one of the superstar directors runs that. And it's an actual Google doc where she has all of her posts outlined. You do not need to do that, but it's a really good way to start. I've teed mine up. I've, I do a lot more posts than she does. Um, but I have shortened my parties. I do five days. I don't recommend anything longer than that. I used to do two weeks and I lost everyone's interest. 
I would say five days kind of trickling into the sixth day for stragglers and stuff like that. But try to make sure that at least all of your orders are in. You don't have to have it closed because your hostess can take some time to make a wish list. But try to make sure all those orders are in. You want to be scheduling posts. Scheduling posts on Facebook is like the greatest thing in the world. I don't use Visily. I don't know anything about it, but I have heard that someone, Chloe, got hacked by using Visily. Mm. And it costs money apparently. So I have not tried that. What I do every night, like I have an online party going on right now. Every night I get on when I'm in bed, literally I do this for my bed and I just schedule all my posts for the next day. You can do all, do all of them at once and schedule them for the whole week. Something that's really valuable that you can do with a Facebook party is videos. Whether you go live or what I've started doing is recording a video. I have a YouTube channel. I upload it to YouTube and then I just post the YouTube link. You can do a live party on Facebook. You just have to get people to commit to coming. And that's, some people don't want to do that. So schedule the posts, try to get a lot of interaction, play games, get people to comment. How do you know the hostess? Um, there's a lot of stuff out there. Like which warmer would you pick for this space? But don't just use words. You need photos. You need pictures of yourself with product um, and a lot of interaction and a lot of your host interacting with people. She needs to be, she or he needs to be commenting, needs to be sharing, needs to be posting pictures of their own products. And that typically helps a lot. So that's Facebook parties in a nutshell. Uh, okay, I will do bag parties next. So when I started, I actually, Chloe sent me a bag party and I ended up joining with that party. And for some reason, bag parties have just stuck with me. Um, I have a Facebook party going right now and it sucks. I just won't even lie. Um, bag parties have always been successful. So what I do, I literally, I almost had put one up here, but I forgot. So I just have a bag. I can post the link of the kind of bags. I can post the pictures later. Um, but I have like a clear bag with testers. I put about 20 to 25 testers in this bag. Now I will say I have two different kinds of bags. So sometimes I have people local who want to do a bag party. I have it one way. I'm going to talk about the shipped bag first. So I have a lot of my customers are out of the city, out of state. Um, so I will send them a shipped bag party. Um, so it's a little condensed. So I put 20 to 25 testers. I want to put their the new release testers in and then some of just the other testers that are available right now. Um, I throw in two catalogs. Um, sometimes I only throw in one, but I then will throw in six to seven product guides. So that's the product list. Um, it's a bigger sheet of paper, comes in like a little notepad of like 50. I fold it in thirds, throw that in there. That way, when people are sniffing, they can just take that and go. They can smell the smells and then take that and look at the products later. Um, I throw in my scent of the month brochure. I throw in a flyer that I've made um, about Scentsy Club because I want everyone to, even if they just look at it and see and then like know the name of Scentsy Club. I don't expect people from a party to join Scentsy Club, but when I do follow up, when they see me on social media, I want them to have seen and heard about Scentsy Club. Um, so I throw that in there. I throw a couple business cards. Um, and then I've started throwing in like a clear little baggie with samples for the guests to take and candy. Um, right now my candy of choice is gummy bears. So I have the little gummy bears from the Valentine's Day aisle at Target. Um, throw those in there. Everybody loves candy and free samples. So put that in there. And then I have like a separate little bag for my host. And in there I put um, the another catalog for them to have. I put a bar of wax for hosting. I tell them once they hit $200, because that's a qualifying party, they can keep the bar of wax. Usually it's, I mean, it's just a bar I have on hand, whether it's the scent of the month or just a random extra bar I have laying around. Um, and then I throw in join info. Now we'll talk about the coaching, the host. Um, you kind of like skim on this, but you don't have to like be pushy, but at least the paper is in there and they can look at it. So with join info, I throw in the comp plan. Um, people like to see numbers and money. So I put that in. 
I print off from your workstation. I forgot to show you the marketing part, but under the news tab, you can click marketing. Um, you print off the $99 kit. You print off the earn a kit. Um, I put both of those in there and then candy again and a scent circle as a thank you. They throw the scent circle in the car. Every time they get in the car, they smell it. They think of you. Oh, I have a party going. I need to share my stuff. Um, so that's what I do for the ship bag. And then the only thing I add for a local bag, I have like a little bit bigger bag that they like you can put on your shoulder. And I add in a wall fan diffuser and pods. Some people add in like warmers, but I'm afraid mine are going to break. So I just put in the wall fan diffuser and pods. They can plug that in wherever they are. People can automatically immediately smell. They don't have to wait for wax to melt. Um, room spray. And then I usually like... Uh, clip on a buddy clip just because they're cute. Um, I really haven't gotten any sales from buddy clips from having that on a party bag, but it's super cute and smells good as they're walking around. People can smell the bag in a way. Um, so that's what I add for a local party. And I kind of, I try to do the same thing as Megan. I, I usually keep them open for a week um, or that's what I, you know, tell my hostess, you know, try to get orders this week next weekend we will close your party and that way then they have time to make a wish list and we can get their free and half off things that's my Yay! Party. i um just sent a bag party two weeks ago and i had a little buddy clip on and i sold two buddy clips because of that really very I nice i don't normally sell buddy clips either but i was like <laughs> So, okay, yes. okay. I'm going to talk about home parties and Zoom parties. Home parties are kind of a thing of the past, but hopefully they're going to be a thing of the future. <laughs> um, that's how I started. I actually had a home party with Chloe. She came to my home. I had just moved in. It's kind of like a housewarming party. And it was so cool because a person from Cincy came to my home party. It was so cool. He was coming to watch Chloe do our home part, her home party, like, it was Easter themed. He ended up like giving everybody that came, including Savannah's mom, a $50 shopping credit what? because he was coming to my party. So everybody got $50 in free Cincy. Chloe ended up getting all that PRV because of that. It was crazy. But anyways, it got me like super into home parties. So back before COVID, all I would do is I had a 31 big tote bag and I would take my diffuser. I haven't had one in like two years, so y'all got to just like throw it back two years, but I would take my diffuser. I would take like two or three um, full size warmers, an element and a standard, and then I would take a couple mini warmers. I would take all my testers. Um, I would always have the hand cream there because then they could just put it in their hand while they were like sniffing around. Um, I'm trying to think what else I would take. Basically, now you have so many more items to take. Like you can take so much stuff now, but when I did this two years ago, we really didn't have that much. Laundry care was kind of new, so I didn't even use, I didn't take laundry care. I would sometimes sample it out, but I didn't take it with me. Um, I'm trying to think, but anyways, I would go, I would take my big table, I would set it all up, and I would do like a 30-minute party, and then the host would always have something salty and something sweet, and they would just talk and ask questions, but basically my party, I would do a quick overview, um, who I am, why I was doing Scentsy, I would go over the main products, which was warmers, wax, diffusers, and then the body line, which was huge then. Um, so I would talk, like there was no pet line at the time. So I'd talk about the body care products. And then I'm trying to think that we would talk about that really quickly, go through, I would play games. That was the best part of all my parties because they wanted to interact, but they were kind of like, what is this? So um, I would do that. And then the for me, what I miss most about home parties is I got always would leave there with at least two or three parties booked for the future. Because if you take them incentive prizes, whether it can be like, I would print off wax cash and I would say this $20 wax cash, cash is for whoever wants to host a party. And basically I would just give them that out of my perpetual rewards or if like out of a separate one, because normally that perpetual reward would go to the party host, like we were talking about earlier, like it's actually supposed to be. But anyways, it just made people seem more, they were just, it's hard for somebody to tell you no in person. I feel like it's easier for text. So people always felt more like pressured to do it. And that was my favorite part about home parties because I met new people, got more parties booked and always had really good PRV from that. 
Um, I'm trying to think what else I would do. I, oh, I'd always give like a little incentive if the party host could get some orders before the party started, like people that weren't coming. I would be like, hey, if you can get two orders before our party starts, that really like helps you. And I would say, I'll give you $5 wax cash, which is just adding like $5 on, which is not that much when you're entering these parties. Um, I don't know if you have specific questions about home parties, let me know, but I haven't done one in so long. But what I have done and I love to do is just like this, a Zoom party. So what I'll do is, you know, I'm not in my kitchen because my husband's in there and I don't even know what he's doing. But in my kitchen, I have this counter space and I make it like my Scentsy setup. So I have my warmers, my diffuser, all the products that I have laying around my house. Um, and I'll get send the host an invite. She share, shares it with all her people. They all come on, we'll say tonight at eight o'clock. And I literally keep it like 40 minutes because I don't have the upgraded... Um, zoom account so for the first 30 minutes i'll go through my products it's just like a facebook party but it's all on zoom um and people can ask questions in the chat box people can interact because all of you could be unmuted and just ask questions we play games on there and we just enjoy each other's company it's always good to start out with like an icebreaker just to kind of get everybody comfortable on zoom because some people aren't used to using zoom um but i have not had a unsuccessful zoom party they've all been great success and it just makes you for me I don't get out I'm a stay-at-home mom so for me to see your beautiful faces on here makes me so happy so it's just like so fun and it's just relaxed it's not work it's just having a good time you get on here you play a few games you talk about products um and if you're new to zoom it's super easy y'all are all on here tonight but it is really easy to use it's just one link the hardest part is getting people to get logged on like we did when we first got on but if you give like a five minute window everybody's good and yeah um i'm trying to think of anything else about the zoom parties but oh normally if it's a zoom party that's out of town um, like Savannah said, I will mail them also a bag of testers because if most of their people that are coming to the Zoom party are local to them, so they can at least say, well, hey, I've got the bag of testers. I'll bring it tomorrow to work so you can pick out your scent. And then I do send them all messages on Facebook afterwards or I'll, I'll get their numbers from the host and say, I need your order by tomorrow night. So that way they have the whole day the next day to like look at their orders and figure out what they want. But if you don't set a timeline, then it like, takes forever to get those orders in so always make sure you said I need it by tomorrow um my biggest question is what to bring I guess it's the same yeah I am just talk about the works I always just talk when I do any party I try to pick five things my top five products because if it would take you an hour to talk about or longer to talk about all the stuff so I just like go around my house and find my top five and if it's the same people like if I had a party with Susie this week and then Susie's sister has a party in a month, I try to do five different products so they don't hear the same thing over and over. But um, normally always wax warmers. I don't use my diffuser that much, so I don't even talk about it a lot. I love fragrance flowers, so I always talk about them and they sell really well. Um, I talk about laundry care because I love the laundry care. And I never leave a party without talking about Scentsy Fresh because that stuff is bomb.com. So, um, and it always sells when you talk about it. Whatever you talk about is what's going to sell. So if you want to sell a wall fan diffuser, talk about wall fan diffusers. If you want to sell warmers, talk about warmers. Um, I think that's all for me. Am I missing anything? If I am, tell me. I don't Everyone bring a wall air purifier to their parties too. Oh, I, I got mine today. Yes. Did the right light like, go off? Yes, finally, after like 12 minutes, I was like, oh my gosh, my air is so dirty. <laughs> so I do have this right next to me. So I'm going to show it, even though Savannah talked about bag parties. These bags come from Scentsy. So this actually comes from the consultant store. I was changing it out. So it opens up, if I can try to manage this. So there's like probably like, I don't know, 30 some testers in there some pockets over here. So I have my why and then party info and then it opens up. I have it upside down. So here I have, whoops, see, stop falling out. Order forms here and then the 10 scratch and sniff stickers because I don't have a million and five testers of the new sense business yep. cards. This one flips up. So I have the hostess rewards, getting paid after purchases, a room spray, a Scentsy Fresh sample. There was a counter clean sample in there too. And a bar of Luna. 
Um, always have bundle and save too. Make sure you, even if you just print out a little card stock, because that is something that customers do not understand. Um, I have a little printout of my catalog favorites. There's some catalogs back there. And then I have some washer wave samples, a soak sample and a car bar. Um, they can, the hostess can keep the stuff if they have a good party. This hostess actually sent everything back, even though she had a good party because she didn't listen to me. It's fine. Because now I have more stuff. <laughs> it's a family member. She gets plenty of stuff anyway. Um, Sensi Club. There is a new referral program for Sensi Club. I have a brand new Sensi Club flyer that I made on Canva that is going into all of my stuff because of the referral program. They have their own unique link now, they can share it and they can refer people and they get points off their own purchases and points off of people they refer. So that's a new perk. The reason that we push Sensi Club is because it is automatic, brainless, no work required PRV, brainless. I am to the point that probably every, like next month's a bad month, but the other two months because of quarterly subscriptions, I'm enough, I have enough PRV and Sensi Club to be active without even thinking about it. Don't have to have a party, don't have to have anything. Mm -hmm. That is the key. Because if you can be active just off your Sensi Club at 500 PRV, then you can have parties and you know limited time releases and all that, and you're at 2000, because then you only have to get 1500. Sensi Club mail, we all spoil the heck out of our Sensi Club people. So happy mail, they already get spoiled, but I typically give exclusive um, samples, exclusive, you know, sneak peeks of stuff like the all is well collection. I already, they all got samples of that. I, they always get candy. I did like a Valentine's day themed one. So they got um, Dove Hearts was my candy of choice this month. But Sensi Club is where it is at. Bricks, the discounts, you don't get discounts unless you're hosting a party. Your Sensi Club people get 10% off at $30 and 10% off and a half off item at $60. If they add the whiff box to their Sensi Club, they automatically get 10% off. So the whiff box is 27 bucks. This month's whiff box has a freaking mini warmer in it. And this is 25 bucks by itself. The whiff box is worth $40 and I paid 15 because I got it half off. So Steel. it's truly a no brainer. Always get my bar if they can't live without their scents, get them to join. The bar that just went flying across the room was red pear and pomegranate. That's what's in my club. Access to bricks. My club literally just came. That's why I'm surrounded by it. Access to bricks. This is one pound of wax. Big selling point right now. Sugar cookie and perfect, perfectly pomegranate left the catalog. They're no longer available, but they're still in Sensi Club and bricks. So if they missed out on adding the bar to Sensi Club, they can get a brick of it or four bricks if you are my customer. Anyway, so Sensi Club, automatic PRV, let them know that you spoil them, let them know all the perks, the 10% off, the half off item, the access to bricks, always get my bar, being spoiled by you and the rewards program. And they can cancel and join whenever they want. They can alter it every month. It doesn't matter. It's totally customizable. The only thing they cannot change is always get my bar. If they take that out by accident, they lose it. You can call consultant support. You can do whatever you want. You can tell the consultant, we can't do anything about it. You can One of my customers emailed Orville today. And I'm going to end on that. <laughs> uh, let's see. Yes. Um, okay. So the last like PRV making thing that we're going to talk about is mystery bags. So um, I know I had a call in my team. We talked about mystery bags a little bit last month, but this is something um, I think Megan and Cassie agree with. It's not something we do every month. Um, I know I'll speak for Megan. At one point she was doing them monthly and her customers got burnt out. Um, she ended up, she wasn't selling them. They weren't getting gone. So mystery bags, I say, are like a bonus, a cherry on top. When you are, let's say, let's say you have 17, 1800 PRV and you want that 2000 by the end of the month. If you don't have any other orders coming through, your parties are done for the month. Heck, do a mystery bag, get you $200 to get you or 200 in PRV to get you to the 2000. If you're about to promote and you need a little extra PRV, 
that is something you could do. Um, I do also recommend like holidays. Um, I think we all at Christmas did um, like Christmas bags. So we did like um, Christmas songs were the bag names. Then people picked their favorite song and that was what they bought. Um, so these, there's lots of breakdowns. I know I have on my team page some breakdowns of mystery bags. Um, we can all make sure we put them on our page. You can check Pinterest. You can check Google. Um, you can find mystery bag breakdowns. Um, basically, you're just adding a bunch of bundles to a party. You're going to use your free and half offs and your perpetual rewards to get a discounted bundle of products. Um, you pick what they are, you pick the scents, and then you get them shipped to you. Um, obviously, because it's a party and you're getting all the free and half offs, get it to you, and then you're going to divide it up and pass them out to your people. Um, I do recommend if you have, when you post it, um, tell them, you know, if they're shipping it, you need eight to nine dollars in addition to the total of the bag for shipping. Um, you don't ever want to lose out on money when you're doing these. The point is to make money, um, to get you more PRV, to get a better paycheck. So make sure when you're adding it all up, add in your tax and shipping for the actual party getting shipped to you. Divide that up and then you would, for your people who you're shipping the party, the bag to, um, add in. I usually add in $8, which now my bags that I've been shipping, the Priority Bubble Mailer, they're like $9.50 now to ship. So I'm probably going to have to up my shipping to $9. Um, so I'm not in the hole any. But like I said, the main thing with mystery bags, I'm not going to go into like how to place orders. We can post breakdowns and things and you can play around with it. It's kind of fun to play around with them. Um, make up fun names for them. I know a lot of people do um, like just numbers for a party or like for bags, but I feel like I get more, um, yes, pirate ship, Leah. I've been using the um, priority bubble mailers and I feel like I have to take those to the, those to the post office, but I've started using pirate ship. Um, but, ooh, I lost my train of thought. Um, what was I saying? Oh. Names instead of numbers. Yes, so I like to put in names, like we said, the Christmas um, song, pick their favorite song, and then they're more likely to um, pick a bag. If it's just numbers, sometimes when I see that on Facebook, I just kind of scroll through like other consultants for other businesses. But if it was pick your favorite summer adventure or whatever, like different things to do in the summer, I would probably pick a bag. So that's just a tip to maybe get more sales with um, mystery bags. Anything else you guys wanna add? Anybody, anybody can add, not even just Megan and Cassie. Do you guys do mystery bags? I just did my first mystery bag um, this past month. Cause I don't know, I well, we've been talking about it a lot on our group, Savannah's group. And I was struggling so bad with the concept of the mystery bag. I'm like, I do not understand this. What am I doing wrong? I even asked the other Amy on our group. I'm like, okay, just look at my breakdown and see what I'm doing wrong. Cause my numbers weren't adding up. But my problem was I didn't understand the perpetual rewards. Once I got that figured out, I was like, I see. Now I see where I'm saving money and how I can get to the price point I wanted to get at. So I did it for the new catalog instead of Valentine's Day because I kind of didn't make my decision till the first of February. And I thought if I ship it, then blah, blah, blah. So I just did new catalog mystery bags. Um, and they were a lot of fun to put together. I sold all of, I have one left that's um, waiting to be sold, but like they, they went pretty well. And I, I loved doing them. They were a lot of fun. Yes. It's fun putting them together and like picking the scents for the people. Yeah. Um, I did all new scents, so nobody's getting anything that was from our previous catalog. Like I did, um, you know, the new laundry line and stuff like that. Perfect. Yeah, but the okay. 
sucks is the price of the mini warmers went up. And so the perfect, the perfect system or yeah, went up in price. So that also gave me a little bit of challenge. Yeah. So I will say with anything, but since you just brought that up, make sure if you're using a bundle that or a uh, breakdown that's been posted before, especially now, but always make sure you do your math, like mm -hmm. add it in. Sometimes it'll give you the breakdown, like, oh, this is what shipping and tax will be. Well, tax is going to be different for your location. Shipping will be different. And now the bundles may be a little different priced. Um, the hand soaps cost different now. So if you add it in hand soaps, yeah. um, so always add them to your workstation at a party, divide it up before you post the price because you may be in the hole if you use an old pricing. Yeah. And I will also say, um, another big thing when you're um, breaking them up is like price out each bag because yeah. you don't to gyp somebody on a bag. You don't want to give a weak bag. And then somebody be like, why did I spend 25 bucks on this? You know, um, it's what, what Amy and I ended up doing was going through each bag and be like, okay, if I bought this on my own, how much would it be? So that was, that was good. Yeah. You want to give them a deal. Yeah. Yep. Good, good, good. The last thing I'll say before Megan starts is um, with mystery bags or any bundles right now, one thing that's really good that price did not change, but the product did is the moisture medley is still $31, but you're getting the larger size soap now instead of the small. So that price didn't change. So I just did um, Valentine's mystery bags and I all I did like four moisture medleys. I mean, they're not getting all the things, but to break it up across. And I was like, this is such a good deal because you're saving like $9 or something. So that's just something that didn't change. That's awesome. They must have missed that. That slipped through the cracks. <laughs> and just last thing on the mystery bags. I don't know if we touched on it or not, but the point of the mystery bag is it's almost like a whiff box. They pay $25 and they're getting 30 to 35, whatever you want it to be, but more than they paid for because you're doing using the free and half off and using your discounts to make it worth their while. So you're not only making money, but they're excited because they're getting more. Yep. Okay. So real quick, we're going to go over hostess coaching. So first thing you want to contact every hostess, you want to talk to them and let them know about the different reward levels. I have this little printout that goes in my bag parties. Every $200, you need a party. You need 200. I don't even tell them about the 350 level because I want everybody to hit 500. Why? Because that percentage of free product goes from 10% to 15%. So they go from, if they're at 499, it's 50 bucks and they get to 500, it goes up $25 to 75 bucks automatically. So I don't play in that little range. I'm like, once you hit a party, let's go to 500 and let's go. Of course, if they can't reach it, they can't reach it. But I try to encourage that because I want them to get the most. I want them to get the most rewards. And then of course, if they get to a thousand, they get an extra half off, but the percentage doesn't go up. I think that 500 is like kind of the, the sweet spot. So always tell them about the different rewards levels. And then if you're doing a Facebook party or a Zoom party or anything like that, you want your hostess to reach out to people. Don't just invite them blindly to a group. We all get group invites every day of our lives on Facebook. And we don't know what the heck the party is. We don't know what they're selling or anything. I did this today because I had a Facebook party that I just launched. I created a message for her said, Hey, I'm having a Scentsy party. I was really, she's really interested in the Cinderella carriage warmer and feels like her friends will be. So I just included that. And I sent it to her and said, feel free to make this your own, but here's the base copy and paste it, send it to your friends, you know, messenger text message and let them know. The more personal it is, the more likely it is that they're going to join versus sit in that invite la la land and never join the group. Um, make sure that you go over shipping. This is probably one of the hardest parts because no one understands it. I've posted multiple times in my group and I explain it to the hostess. They can direct ship if they order online, regardless of what the party is at, they pay for shipping. If they order through the hostess or through you and the party gets to 200, you get discounted shipping and at 500 it is free shipping. So if you say you have someone that messages you on day one of a party, 
and they want to pay you that day, they can't. Why? Because the shipping cost may change. You can't guarantee that it's going to get to 500 and be free. You can't even guarantee it's going to get to 200 and be discounted. So explain that to them and say, no, I'll contact you for payment. You know, when we're getting ready to close the party, because the shipping cost changes based on how much the party grosses. It's some, it's still hard. And honestly, I used to feel bad about it, but if they just order online and pay for shipping, it's not your fault. <laughs> like I've just accepted that fact. Um, bundle and save. I post this on my Facebook parties day one. Um, it's in all my bag parties. This is laminated bundle, bundle, bundle. And again, if they don't do it, you told them exactly. You want them to save the money. You want to tell them about it, but then it's not on you if they don't do it. Um, and then how can customers pay? That's up to you. There are new tax laws out there about third-party apps. Obviously, are you comfortable having strangers Venmo you and PayPal you that you don't really know? People aren't really comfortable doing credit card numbers. I did find in a recent party that I just closed yesterday, actually, that the hostess was able to collect credit card numbers from like seven people. So they were comfortable giving it to her. And then she gave them all to me. And of course, they're destroyed. But they don't all like to text text you. I've had some people who like to call me because they think that texting, it's going to get encrypted, whatever, that's fine. If they want to call you and give you credit card information, but it's your choice, just make sure that they are paying you and make sure that if they're going to choose friend or choose purchase protection on Venmo or cash app or uh, PayPal, that they put more in there or you're going to get gypped out of money because it charges you a fee. And you have to explain to the people that, yes, they are paying for goods and services, but they are also reimbursing you for a purchase. So you're not making any money off the money they're transferring to you. And that's the hard part to explain as well. So completely up to you how you collect payment. My VIP customers Venmo me every day of my life. It's totally fine. And I'm fine with that. But these new people, I am really trying to go back to getting credit card numbers because of all the new rules. Yes, yeah, Sherry, excellent, bundling, absolutely. Yes. All right, Cass. Okay, um, perpetual reward. This is like so confusing. I think it's confusing because it's hidden. So when you go into the orders and you're, you've got your party, not where like all the rewards are where you see that you have $54 in rewards and two half price or whatever. That's just your host rewards. But if you click up, there's, I can't show you right now because I don't have to pull it up. But at one, um, Savannah's going to show you, I'm one gonna, level uh -huh. above that, there's a drop down and it says perpetual reward. That is just a, right? Oh, she's going to pull it up while I'm talking. Oh, no, I'm sorry, that is just an extra half price item. There's no tricks or anything about it it's just a half price item that you can use just like you can use for any of your other half price items but the reason that it's been created is because it's to reward your host for getting someone else to party so megan's having a party tonight savannah comes savannah's like oh i want to have a party i, I love free Cincy. Mm -hmm. so when you go to savannah's party in a month Megan will get a half price item for getting her to have that party. That's what it's made for. But if you're the host, that's just the extra half price um, you it to buy scent circles or um, wax or anything I can sample out to my customers. She's going to show you. I'm, I'm trying. Oh, okay. You don't have it's, to. Do. It's, we, I showed them earlier. I don't know if you were trying to switch computers, but I did show them. Oh, okay. Okay. Perfect. Good. Um, so if you, I feel like my downline always forgets about that or they'll say, oh, I didn't even use that, but don't let it go to waste. It's a free half price item. Um, All right, Amy. <laughs> then let's see, earn a kit. So every party that you have, if it hits $200, that's a party, you can, the host can earn a kit. So they can pay $59 but really, if it's a $200 party and they want to use their $20 rewards, it already knocks it down to $39. So they can earn a kit for $39 if they have a qualifying party. Um, and the more rewards they earn, the cheaper that $39 comes down. It comes down to $36, $34. Once they hit 
I guess it's a $500 party. I, I haven't done the math exactly, but it's a free earn a kit. So anytime you're part, any party you're having, you should talk about the opportunity. You don't have to say, hey, do you want to sell? You could say, have you ever thought about doing what I do? Would you like this opportunity? This is a blessing to me. I don't know if it is for you guys, but that $902 paycheck I just got, that's a blessing for me. And so you need to ask these people if they want to be a part of this blessing. You ladies that are on here tonight are a blessing to me. Like y'all are my outlet. I love it. So you don't want to leave somebody out of the opportunity to have that blessing too. So always share, always say, share the blessing. Um, don't be afraid to do it. I wish she was on tonight. She was supposed to get on Christy, but she was one of my best customers. And I was always afraid to ask her if she wanted to join because I thought she would run. And I called her and I was like, please don't take it bad. Please don't think I'm bad. But I really, I think you would be so good at it. She's like, I would love to do it. She had a party. I was like, your kit's free. She's like, why would I not do it? <laughs> and I was like, oh, okay, okay. Now she's one of my best um, top downline. She's always first or second every month. So always have that conversation. Don't let one party slip by without offering that earn a kit to your host. So if you're having six to eight parties a month, that's six to eight conversations you're having each month to get new people under you. Um, and the more people you get under you, the more GWV you get, the higher your paycheck's going to be. And that's how you promote. So um, it starts with one. And then before you know it, you have 10. Or before you know it, you have as many as Megan. So you just stick to it. She has the most. So. <laughs> um, I went from like four to 10 this year. And that was huge for me. So you can do it. Just got to step out of that comfort zone just a little bit. And sometimes it's so hard. Megan's going to talk a min in a minute about putting your face out there. And that is so hard for me. So I'm, that's a thing that I'm working on. So we all have things we're working on, but I think that's all. Did I miss anything? I'm good. No, I don't think so. Yeah. Okay. So lastly, we are just going to touch real quick on social media and showing your face. No one likes to do it. And I don't like to do it, but I've just gotten over it. And I'm like, whatever, I'm going to go talk to myself on my phone right now. It is what it is. Okay. <laughs> My husband, I post him all the time. He is not amused. Everybody's like, oh, I love his monotone videos. Yeah, he don't care. Like, whatever. <laughs> we are now known for Ben sniffing wax. We're actually going to sniff the All is Well collection after this. I'm just going to record the video because he's going out of town this weekend. Like, just do your thing. Who cares if you don't have makeup on? Use a filter. Who cares? Throw your kids in there. Have them. Yes. Children are welcome. I know Leah loves to have... Um, Lila and try to sniff wax and then sabotage the whole setup that she has. And then she's derailed, but it's fine. Cause Lila's cute and everyone loves it. So just let them get involved. Um, Bennett likes to sniff wax too. My neighbor loves to, she sniffs it for me three sniffs. Like she's getting high. It's cute. <laughs> um, if you have Instagram and Facebook, if they're private, make them public. I don't care if you got to change your name to your first and middle name because you're worried. I'm a medical provider and I used to be Megan Elizabeth. I'm still legally Megan Murphy or Megan Branch in my work world. So I'm Megan Murphy with my married name on all my social media. So my patients can't find me, but I made everything public and it's made a world of difference. Linking my Instagram and my Facebook. So I don't have to do everything 14 times. My stories automatically cross. So if I have some customers that are on Facebook that are not on Instagram, they still see all my stories and my posts automatically cross as well. So I post something on Instagram it automatically goes to Facebook. It's so much less to do. Yes, Leah, my personal profile is public. My, my Facebook and my Instagram. Um, and then like I said, no one cares what you sound or look like. Show your face. Yes, you can post pictures all day long of, oh, here's the, you know, here's the mini, war here's the mini warmer. Yay. Here's some Scentsy Fresh. I took these new products when I got them and I went and sat in a tropical plant in one of, <laughs> in one of my guest rooms. I literally like sat in it and took selfies with this stuff. This stuff, I, I, they like to see your face. It doesn't matter if it's a selfie with a bottle of Sensi fresh. They don't care. For some reason it works. Mm -hmm. Um, reels, reels, reels are the trend. It's, they're not super easy to make. Some of them can be, if you pick a really easy audio, just watch reels on Instagram, or you can watch them on Facebook. Now scroll through. They're saying 
the social media experts um, say to post three reels a week if you want your thing to explode. Leah, you crack me up. You're real illiterate. Yeah, I'm not very good at it. Um, so reels, reels are where it's at right now. Make sure that you're posting though. So I make sure I post, I'm always on stories, reels, and then event, sometimes a video. Like I said, post and take selfies and share your why. Why are you doing this? It doesn't need to be something fancy. It can be something as simple as I joined because I was paying one of my best friends way too much money and she was making a million dollars off me every month. So I joined. Did I expect to be a director and have a downline and frontline and all of this stuff and have a team and be doing this training right now? Absolutely not. Mm. But I saw the potential and here I am because this is real. It's doable. And here it is. And I don't consider myself a salesperson. That's one of everyone's favorite things to say when they, when you ask them to join, I don't consider myself a salesperson. I just share the product that I love. We love the product. If Anybody you love the product, it sells itself. Yes. Yeah. Like I just got the pearlescent petals warmer. It's in my bedroom and I'm truly in love with it. Like I'm obsessed. I've been like admiring it from bed. Cause I'm like, Oh, look how pretty it is. Ben don't turn off the warmer yet. Cause he's <laughs> me keep them on all the time. Cause he's a Nazi. Um, so I took selfies with it and I was like, look at how awesome this is. Look at how pretty I sold one off a Facebook post. Yep. She commented and was like, I just bought mine. I'm so excited. And I was like, oh my gosh, it works. You know, I'm yep. still surprised when it works. So share your why post the stuff and just share it. If I go to your personal Facebook page, if I go to your profile page and I don't see anything sensey, how do I know you're a consultant? How do your friends mm -hmm. know that you're a consultant? I have people who like, don't even like, like, or comment on posts and may not like interact on stories. And then they will text me or they'll just order. Like mm -hmm. it'll be random people that I know follow me, but they don't like interact on anything, but they're watching. Even they're if they're watching. not. They'll some, order. Um, some of the messages came directly to me, but the, um, Leah said that she bought hers after she saw your video and she sold it to her mom. <laughs> yes. So everyone share your why this week. Cassie challenges everyone share your why. I'm, um, I'm challenging myself too, because I don't get out of my comfort zone enough. So I'm going to share my why this week. So Cassie, I challenge you to share something on your stories, like talking on it. <laughs> Everybody. Me too. No, I'd already told Alex, I want to do the, um, the all is well collection mine came today. I don't know why I ordered this stuff on February 2nd and I finally got this huge box today. So my air purifier was in there, my all is well collection and my whiff box. So I've got three things I really need to share. And another thing I just wanted to mention too was going off of the zoom parties and the kind of having the setup. I have a setup in my office 24 seven. I have done like a video that I post on my Facebook story or my Facebook parties of all of my stuff, like my whole spiel, my 30 minute spiel. It includes everything except diffusers and air purifiers. So I will post my YouTube link. So all of you can go through and watch the videos and just get an idea of what I say. And I, I'm from the North. I talk really fast and I know that, but I also get it all out in 30 minutes. So that way you can kind of see and get a guidance like, oh, well, if you do a Zoom party or a Facebook live party, like this is kind of what to do. But the product training guide is also a really good thing to use and kind of have handy and read before that. One thing I want to add talking about recordings, um, this is random. It goes back to coaching the host, but this month I actually have like four bag parties out and I sent them all out the first of the month. So instead of like making sure I to each one of them, I recorded a two minute video before I sent the bag party out. Basically what Megan just did with her bag. I like took everything out, showed them what all was in it, told them about the rewards. I, I recorded the whole video. It was like two and a half minutes long. And then I told my hostesses, Hey, I sent your bag party out. Text me when you get your bag, I'm going to send you a video on what to do. And then you're like saving time too. You already have it recorded and you just send it to the person. So you could be at work going pee and you, they get the bag. You can just send them the video and done. They already, you're not like wasting time spending five minutes coaching four different people or eight. Cause I need eight parties this month. So four more that I'm going to have, 
I, I'm not wasting time. I've already done the video. I send it to them done. When they have questions, I answer them, but recordings are awesome and save you time. Yeah, you're not repeating yourself over and over. And another thing I've started to add in my bag parties, this one doesn't have it yet, the QR code for the party. If you don't know what a QR code is, it's the little, it's this. I have it on the back of my business card that leads straight to my website, but you can make this to your website linked to a specific party. So I go on Canva, I put the QR code in that's linked to a customer's party, a hostess party. And then I put like 16 to a page. I chop them up with my little thingy and I put them on a paper clip and I stick them in there. So then that way, say that they have somebody come over and sniff some sense and they're going to think about something. Well, here's the code. All you have to do is scan this and order online. Done. Yep. That was Chloe's idea, but I've been doing it. I don't really know if it's working, but I've had less struggling of attaching to parties. So. Yep. Cool. All right. Well, what's our homework? We have some homework for the week or, before, yeah. you know, the month. One thing that we're going to talk about or Savannah's going to talk about is a booking blitz. And I'm super pumped about it because I need to book. I have zero things for March. So we've got to, here's a challenge for you. 